these guys here are life pure four prismatic thin line or slim line design we've kept them that way so you can put them for applications behind cabs um, under the floors behind seats and then you could run your own distribution board wherever you like somewhere else in the cab so we've kept them very thin the 105 amp hour here 14.6 volt down to 10 volt typically 12.8 so we're fully charged at 14.6 you pull the uh, charger off drops down about 13 and a half 13.3 so, which is normal. So these guys here are about 13 kilograms um, and 61 millimeters thick. The 135 here um, is 48 millimeters thick, weighs about 17 and a half kilograms. So it's still quite easy to handle. This one here is about two kilograms heavier than the, the standard Nomad. And if you have a look at the end of them, all the inputs and outputs are on the end, which has been requested by customers over the last number of years. So you can put them in corners and so on. Install it horizontally, install it vertically. They do take 50 amp input, 50 amp output, 50 amp maximum regulated charge. They do take. You can't use unregulated charge with this. They are for regulated charge only. Two SIGA DC, 50 amp output, 50 amp in, and fast USB-C. That's on the end of this one here. Then if you look at the 135 amp hour, the end of it, very thin, 48 millimeters thick. And this guy here, um, has uh, input and output on the one end, fast USB-C, and on the other end you've got two um, SIGA outputs. So if you are, want to use them, that's fine. Most people are going to use this application, might sh shove this into a corner because they're going to use the 50 amp Anderson output there. On the front, SOC, so state of charge screen, you can scroll through that. This one's pulsating at the moment because it's charging, um, and you'll see the bars running up and down. You can scroll through it, but if you want to look at the app, have a look at our website at nomadpdu.com.au, um, and go to the two units, 105, 135, Life PA4, and you'll be able to see the pictures of the, um, the, uh, the Bluetooth. It's a Dali Bluetooth. So they're very usable, a lot, of, a lot of analysis on them. So we use them to diagnose if you've overcharged it or if you're trying to draw too much out of it, um, if you're trying to run, which don't. You still can't run things like 3,000 watt in, um, uh, induction ovens and things like that. You've still got a 50 amp max output, but it is a substantial output. You can run a wire lead or whatever you like. On the back of them, you've got instructions as well, like so, just to make it easy, and so you don't have to worry about losing the instructions, which everyone tends to do. So that's the Life PA4 Prismatic, which handles the corrugations and rough terrain a bit better than uh, than typical uh, lithium, uh, which is what we believe. And you also get the 10 amp AC DC charger with them, which will charge to 14.6. Now we don't put AC DC chargers or DC DC chargers or inverters inside the battery packs. Whenever you charge a battery, and, and the way we look at it is, you charge a battery, you put it into a ventilated area. And that's the whole point, is to keep it in a ventilated area where it's cool, etc., and always have it supervised. If you put an AC DC charger inside these units, or a DC DC inside the unit, or you put inverters inside the unit, those, um, those electrical components create heat. Uh, they may have turning parts, like the inverters, and then notorious for breaking down. And then you're gonna have a unit in warranty, or more, more so than in the field. The batch pack itself, if you follow the instructions with these, three year warranty on these, uh, these units here. You got two years on the Nomad V5. That was from the 1st of June this year. So these guys here are about 3000 cycles plus, you can expect um, at 80% DOD. You can charge them with the SIGA DCs you've got with the Nomad. Um, the Nomad charge at 12.6. You can use the SIGA DCs that you've got. We do have them in 14.6. So you can simply plug them into your vehicle and then you can have your 10 amp charge for one of these off the SIGA plug. Or uh, you can use the Anderson with the double fusing like so. And then if you've got an Anderson plug on the back of your vehicle, which has its own VSR, it's already cabled, all you need to do is plug one of these in, plug it into this, away you go. You've got the full dual setup, it's already done, and you've got a regulated charge. So solar panels, must have a regulator on it to charge these units. You can't use an unregulated because these don't have an MPVT inside. These are specifically built for the more commercial, heavy duty applications in four wheel drive, um, where space is limited and you really, really want to get the most out of them. So I'm really interested to see how they would go on a Jimmy um, as well, because they're really, really space uh, convenient for these. So that's the Life PA4 Bluetooth Prismatic. They'll be able to be seen at the show on the 9th to 11th They'll be the first time they'll be seen. They are available for delivery in October. We've been taking orders for them at the moment. They've been very, very popular. So again, contact at nomadpdu.com.au. I'll talk to our partner channel. You can order through them. So that's the new, brand new 
Life Pure 4 Prismatic, and we also have a 200 amp hour coming out in the next three or four weeks, which uh, which again, it'll follow the same suit of slimline, um, and we're trying to keep the weight down as much as we can, but it also has to be something that's usable and easy to, to be able to remove. Brackets will be available for these as well, uh, and they'll be in the next six weeks. They'll be able to install and remove quite easily with these, and they'll actually be around the edge, so you'll be able to see the full unit anyway. So again, 